Unfiltered fam, what's happening? It's your boy Freddy Ruger, man. Back at it again. This is Unfiltered National News. Like I said, man, I'm your loyal host, Freddy Ruger. This is how we rocking. Um, today I'm gonna bring y'all a very interesting story, man. It's school teacher by day, Jack man by Jack boy by night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude went in, but he also went into the grave. Um, this story today is going to be on none other than Barney Harris, teacher out of North Carolina, Union City, Union, Union County, I believe. Yeah, Union County, North Carolina. I'm not too familiar with that, although I do stomp through North Carolina like I want to, but I'm not too familiar with Union County, but... That's where he was a teacher at. He was murdered by the Sonola cartel, which is a Mexican cartel. And he was actually trying to rob them. <laughs> teacher by day. Jack boy by night. Let's get into the story, y'all. This is your boy, Freddy Ruger. This is Unfiltered National News. Let's get it. A high school basketball coach in Union County was killed in a shootout with Mexican drug cartel in Alamance County, North Carolina. Barney Harris died Thursday, April 8th in a shootout with the drug cartel. Harris and another person went to a stash house in Alamance County last week to steal money and drugs from the Sonola cartel. Harris and his partner, Stephen Alexander, Stewart Jr., who was identified as his brother-in-law, then killed a drug runner from the cartel before a shootout started. Harris was shot and killed during the gunfire. Harris was found inside the house, shot multiple times, investigators said. Harris was wearing a bulletproof vest that did not protect him. The ammunition used in the shooting was too deadly. Stewart was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and burglary. Clip them notes. Detectives said multiple types of firearms were used during the shootout. Detectives described the scene as an old western shootout. Other mobile homes in that area were struck by bullets. No one at the other homes were injured during the shootout. The sheriff office seized five firearms, $7,000 in cash, and 1.2 kilos of cocaine. Union Academy, where Harris worked as a teacher and basketball coach, issued a statement on the death of their head coach. He served as head coach for the varsity men's track and varsity men's basketball teams at the school. The school statement reads, he will be greatly missed by his family, friends, players, students, and colleagues. The Harris family asks for your thoughts, prayers, and please respect their privacy at this time. Counselors will be available to students who need assistance grieving Harris's death. Sonola is a Mexican drug cartel that operates out of Tijuana, but has expanded its drug business globally as far as Europe, Africa, and all across the United States, including rural parts of North Carolina. Alamance County, North Carolina, is a hot spot for cartels because of its easy access to major interstate corridors like I-95, I-85, I-10, and I-40 to help move product. Stash houses are located along these interstate trips. They're very much 
like a global U.S. company or Fortune 500 company. They have logistic operations, transportation, distribution, retails. It's a business. Detectives say this organization could possibly be the most violent criminal organization on the face of the earth. The face of the earth, Craig. That read like a movie. You got shootouts, you got cartels. Shoot them up, bang, bang. Everybody gonna do their thing. Man, it's your boy Freddy Ruger. This is Unfit the National News. And I'm gonna give you my take. My take is this pandemic, this coronavirus, whatever the heck going on got people in desperate situations. Only fans blew up because women at home basically in desperate situations and men always desperate. It didn't take coronavirus for men to be desperate, but they in desperate situations. They found out that they could take their clothes off on the internet for money and make millions. This teacher Found out what a cartel was stashing a drug. And he figured he was going to come off sweet. And he would have if he would have got off. If he would have got away with all the work. $7,000, I don't think that's worth killing or losing your life over. Although $7,000 is a lot of money and people have died for a lot less. But I don't think that was what he was in there looking for. And... It was said that at, during the shootout, the brother-in-law got away, but he was arrested later. I don't know if he was arrested in the vicinity or he was arrested days later. But he was arrested, apprehended. But he did actually get away from the shootout and away from the scene of the crime. I don't believe he was shot. But honestly, now that his name, his face is all over the news, he got to worry about himself in prison. But dealing with the cartel, you got to worry about your children, your mother, your father, your brother, your auntie. Everybody is uh, exposed to being murdered right now because y'all murdered an 18 year old gun runner. Y'all got prop, y'all got a uh, product seized by the police. Y'all basically opened up the eyes to police to where they was at and. It's just a long story, man. Really, everybody loses in this situation. The cartel loses their drugs and a gun runner. The teacher loses his life and promising career. The brother-in-law, he losing his life. He going to prison, going to have to fight the Mexican cartel for the rest of his life if he even live a long one. You understand what I'm saying? And also... I feel like the students, they lost a lot too. Because a lot of students looked up to him as I've been reading. And then to think of a positive person in your life that's positive by day and an animal with a bulletproof vest and big guns shooting 18 year olds that could have been his student last year in the head and killing him. That's, that's going to take a lot. They Some of them might need guidance counselors. And the fact that the, the guy that was murdered in the house, in the stash house, the fact that he was 18, just turned 18, and he was 17, 16, years, a couple years ago, while this guy was a teacher, like, he literally could have had this young man in his class or on his basketball team. And he taught Spanish. He was a Spanish teacher. That's kind of odd too, but that also plays in a part of why he was dealing with the cartel, or how he was even able to understand the cartels. And man, this story wild, bro. North Carolina, man, we getting some crazy stories, man. Charlemagne the God said something about his crazy people in uh, 
somewhere in all of Florida. You don't have to add North Carolina to that, uh, Charlemagne. Anyway, brother, man. It's your boy, Freddy Ruger, man. This is Unfiltered National News. And I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> yes, black men do say flabbergasted. But yeah, man, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put a little song at the end of this video, man. One of my songs, an old song. It's gonna be a diss song to a dude named B Wood. Yeah, nobody. If you're seeing this right now, B Wood. <laughs> For life. And this diss track old, but it's still. For life. It's your boy, Freddy Ruger. This is Unfit the National News. We out. Be woods, be cautious, be careful. Be alert, be prepared, be scared too. Be a bitch, be got fucked up ways. Been waiting on be responsible for five days. Yeah, and that's all you got. I just made you start some shots, pussy. You ain't hot. And I heard that you reside in Lithonia. Come through licking shots, knock your son off that pony, bruh. Now that's personal. Most of y'all won't get that, but it's burning him alive, cause I know he really lived that. Nigga hit me up on hangouts trying to squash the beef. And I can screenshot the shit y'all all can see. Instead of this, you should have dropped the apology. You dying in this ring. Apollo Creed, no confidence, you got swallowed by that beat The production was alright, but your delivery was weak Said you had facts, where they at? I ain't hear none, the only facts you had was the shorts I was wearing Murder brand time, with a dirty handgun Your flow embarrassed son, stick a fork, this nigga done I just killed this fuck nigga back to back Your music trash nigga, you can't rap I just killed this fuck nigga back to back Your music trash nigga, you can't rap if I catch you slipping, I'ma get the ripping and stink you like ancient Egyptians and murder every witness. Bitch, I slaughter your whole bloodline. Holocaust shit, they gon' charge me with a war crime. You look like the type of nigga that'll drop a dime for five days straight. This faggot had me on his mind. Instead of worrying about how I was dressed, bitch, you should've brought your best. This is no contest. I expected you to come back swinging, but this battle not even. You already been beaten. Real talk, fuck, boy, you got killed. Took too long to respond, just got me meal. Ha! Be boys, you should just be yourself. Stop fronting on this app, trying to be somebody else. You know my shit hot, and I can melt ya. Help the skelter, nobody can help ya. Annihilate ya, you fuck boy by nature. Your daddy more pussy than that bitch that made ya. Be mad, be sad, be feelings hurt. Be get riddled with bullets before his body hit the dirt.